Hi my friends, today we model this part. It is an interesting part. This is the drawing and we start with uh, this uh, cylindrical or revolving volume. The part is number 14 from my collection of 100 parts. Let's start. We select this uh, tool, create a new empty documents. We take care of this uh, workbench part design and also to this uh, one CAD because we create uh, only mechanical parts. New sketch, this plane and polyline. Left, up, left, just uh, gap here and then up back and close we apply vertical for this two we place on the same horizontal or coincident a point with a line these two then this line with this point coincident we move this up we verify consistency of each uh, entity and we place uh, dimensions. This is uh, half of 36. Uh, this is uh, 45 divided by 2 this is uh, 55 divided by 2 you see I select a point and I find a dimension to the center point this is important this dimension is 65 divided by 2. On vertical, this is 4 millimeters, this is 16, and this is 8. Yes. close revolve the axis is uh, Z okay you see how it looks we place this chamfer 2 at 45 and the other 1.5 at 45 we select this circle and we apply 2 millimeters of uh, chamfer then we select this line circle for the other chamfer of 1.5 good next is this feature but we create only half of 
it. Dimensions are here. 30 radius 8, 48, 62 from this face and 57 for this uh, upper line we have a small line here yes then uh, this uh, chamfer then uh, this radius of 1.5 as a fillet let's do this new sketch this plane we project or we create a geometry external geometry I say project from inventor of this uh, face then we draw lines polylines we start from here up left then m m m three times to go here then a small line and uh, we go to the baseline and we close it well this small line must be horizontal not tangent I eliminate this uh, constraint and I rotate the line to make it horizontal select horizontal not yet but now it is okay dimensions this is radius 8 this was not coincident you see we always verify the consistency I didn't do this but I'll do in the future coincident this point with this point then I go here and I I'm checking the consistency okay the angle is a, a priority of 45 degrees and a dimension of 1.5 now we apply section to see this point and we place a dimension for this point and the center point this is the center point of 62 then a distance from this line to the bottom line but since we didn't create it uh, projected it we have to apply 74 minus 8 74 and 8 are dimensions in the drawing and we don't create dimensions by heart I told you this 
we place expressions. Good. Another dimension is this one, 30 divided by 2. And 48. I, I don't select a line. I don't want to select a line. I want to select a point to have automatically uh, the other end to the center point. 48 divided by 2. Now we have a fully constrained sketch. Everything is OK. Close. And we apply pad or extrude. Symmetrical and 30 is this dimension. OK. Now we can apply mirror. We select what to be mirrored and we select this tool. Automatically this mid plane was considered and everything is OK. Now we place that uh, fillets of uh, one 0.5. We keep press the control key to select all the four edges fillet of uh, 1.5 Okay, you see they are placed in position. Next is this cut with dimension 16 and 44, radius 8. Radius 8 or 16 is uh, the same. We select this face, we create a sketch. We rotate this, then we project this end line, polyline from that line down MMM three times. Now you know this procedure. then a tangent and close. The first thing to do is to make this vertical and tangent. Then we apply section to see this center point. Why? because we want to place this center and this center on the same vertical. We can do coincidence between this point and the axis. The axis is always present in the sketch. Then dimensions. This is 8 and the distance to the center of this point is almost uh, created here 44 we have a green fully constrained close and pocket through all. Okay. Now this uh, hole, 22 with a depth of 35, centered 
and the axis. We turn the part, we select this face, we have a center, we place a not dimensioned center, a circle, because we use hole and this means that we have to place here that uh, dimension of 22 then the depth is 35 you see uh, this hole it doesn't go outside yes okay good now these two uh, threaded holes all the way through the part dimensions metric 8 distance of 22 distance of 53 to the center point which is on this line we select this face for a new sketch we place randomly two circles no problem with the diameters then we select this center this center and this axis to apply symmetrical dimensions from center to center we have 22 and the distance between any center and the center point is 53 we don't care of these two degrees of freedom because uh, two diameters are not important why because we apply hole and the diameter is 6 by default for both uh, holes the holes are through all and uh, the profile is a metric regular profile with a diameter of 8 metric 8 we apply threaded and also model thread we can uh, uh, don't check this uh, option and we have very soon a result this is the result if we want to have uh, model thread which means uh, to see here the thread we have to wait a while you see we wait now we wait now we wait now we also wait and wait again <laughs> until we have this this is the difference major difference in uh, the dimension of the file for this part the difference is from 0 0.103 megabytes to 4.48 megabytes. You decide to select what you want. That's all for today. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.